Now, the notorious Italian mafia boss Matteo Messina Denaro has died in custody at the age of 61. He was being treated for cancer. Denaro was arrested in January at a clinic in Palermo in Sicily after 30 years on the run. He was given a life sentence after being convicted in absentia of numerous murders. He once boasted that he could fill a cemetery with his victims. He was often described as the last godfather of the Sicilian mafia. Well, let's get the latest on this. Mark Lowen, our correspondent, is in Rome for us. And uh, Mark, uh, just remind us what this mafia boss actually presided over. He presided over the feared and ruthless Cosa Nostra, one of the one of the one of the biggest bosses in in the Sicil Sicilian mafia, Matthew. And uh, he was convicted actually of multiple life sentences because of the dozens of murders uh, that were attributed to him, including involvement of the, in the murders of the two anti-mafia judges, Giovanni Falcone and Paolo Borsellino, who were uh, two who, are, who remain still two very iconic figures. They were assassinated in 1992 by the mafia, uh, trying to stand up and crush the Sicilian mafia. Uh, and after that, really, the mafia, the, the Italian police clamped down very hard on Cosa Nostra. Uh, but uh, Denaro remained on the run for 30 years, and he was finally tracked down because of the chemotherapy, chemotherapy treatment he was receiving in a clinic in Sicily. And it is that same cancer that led the police to him, to his arrest in January, that has now led to the end of his life. And when he was arrested, he boasted that he would not uh, divulge any information, would not, uh, he had no regrets at all. So, so many will fear, actually, that uh, he will take some of those big, biggest mafia secrets to his grave. Uh, and Mark, I know it's only the first few hours since this news emerged, but what reaction has there been? Well, look, when he was arrested, it was a huge deal, Matthew, because he was extremely symbolic, even though Cosa Nostra is not the force that it once was, because it has been rather eclipsed by Italy's other mafias, particularly the Andrangheta in Calabria, uh, this toe of Italy that is now the country's most powerful mafia, and, and in fact uh, controls around 80% of the international cocaine trade. And Cosa Nostra has sort of been crushed largely. Other mafias have risen in its place. But Denaro was a huge figure. And so finally tracking him down, you know, many Italians breathed a great sigh of relief. Uh, but the fact that he has died now before he went on trial, uh, I think many will regret that, as particularly, of course, the families and friends of his victims. Um, one of his life sentences was actually for the kidnapping and murder of the 12-year-old son of a witness in the Falcone murder. So that shows you the kind of ruthlessness um, that was uh, that, that, that he was um, that he, he carried out, um, and as you say, he, he boasted that he would be able to fill a cemetery with the number of people he killed. Now he is ending up himself uh, in a cemetery uh, buried alongside his mafioso father.